Hi, I'm from vaporizerblog.com and today I'll be unboxing the new Puffet vaporizer manufactured by Discrete Vape. Here we have another slant on the portable handheld vaporizers. The fact that it looks just like a traditional asthma inhaler can't be a coincidence. It's uh, just slightly larger but it would take a pro to see the difference. Another portable uh, vaporizer with sharp packaging. You can see the illustration on the box doesn't really scream discreet, but nonetheless it does look good. And as seen as they were going for the asthma inhaler imitation, they even incorporated it into their brand with a phrase that says, breathe quality into your life. Okay, so let's open up the box and see what we have inside. Here we have the unit itself that indeed looks like an inhaler. The instruction manual, we'll put that over here. We have one neoprene carrying case. We have a USB charger, which is always a nice feature. This is something that is interesting. It's a removable stir, stir tool, and that means you don't even have to open the unit up for that to work. Here we have a silicone heat shield for the heating chamber part. Three more mouthpieces, four little extra screens, a warranty, a small little packing tool that can also be used as a stir tool as well, I guess. And this, this is what you get when you order the Puffet. Okay, now let's take a closer look at the Puffet. The size of it, it's 3.5 inches in height which is 8.9 centimeters, and one and one eighth inches in width, which is approximately 2.9 centimeters, and it weighs 2.6 ounces, 73 grams, very light. It comes in black, and apparently there's a blue one that's um, the same as the original inhalers. It has a one year limited replacement warranty, and the battery has the standard 90 day warranty. I have to admit, it is discreet looking. Um, so let's talk about charging up the Puffet. Basically, you just take your USB charger, you have to remove the cap here, and this protective shield, and you basically plug in your USB right here in this connection. And that's a standard USB source, and it takes about two and a half to three hours for a full charge and you should get between 25 and 30 cycles on a full charge. Different than the Da Vinci that you cannot use the Puffet while it's charging. So that's something to keep in mind. So for maximum battery life, they've included a 90 second auto shut off feature. And so to reactivate that, all you have to do is press on the top cover for a few seconds and wait for the temperature memory recall to reheat the unit. Okay, so let's start uh, with the top part of this unit where you have the herb chamber underneath here. So normally you want to keep your silicone um, heat shield on top like this. You just slide it on. So that keeps you from burning yourself when the unit is heated up. And if you just turn the cap like that, you'll see that underneath here, you have basically a spring that just pushes your herb down and you can easily replace that with this internal stir stick that I was telling you about earlier that uh, automatically stirs your herb without having to open up the cap or lose any heat in the process. So inside here is the herb heating chamber that combines an internal microprocessor with a high grade gold plated heating chamber. Gold sounds very fancy. And the temperature is monitored and adjusted more than 100 times a second so your herb never gets too hot or too cold. The casing of the unit is made out of uh, hard plastic and here at the bottom you have the mouthpiece and this is the protective plastic cap. Once you remove the protective cap you'll see a temperature wheel here on the side. It's tiny and great if you have little pointy fingers to get in there and adjust it. Number one is 120 degrees Celsius, 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and it goes all the way up to number eight, which is 220 degrees Celsius, 430 degrees Fahrenheit. And here on the front, you have this red LED indicator light that lets you know when the unit is heating up and when it's ready to vape. To turn the unit off, all you have to do is put this little black cap on it again like this, and that turns it off, and it has this magnet in it that automatically turns it off. So that's easy enough to do. So let's fill it and see how it works now. 
And uh, today I'll be using a herb blend by Dutch Spirit, which is made of a combination of um, Lungsworth, peppermint, sage. And I'll just um, put some herb in here like this. So this only takes dry herb. It doesn't take any oils. And um, I've heard it's best to pack this unit lightly. So that should be good. And we'll just put the cap back on. And you just turn that again to do that. And now um, you just push the cap down for two seconds. And let's take this off so you can see the LED light because that's important that you can see that. So I'm gonna push the cap down for two seconds and the red light should flash to indicate that the heating unit, uh, or the, that it, the unit is heating up. When this light turns green, then that means we're ready to vape. Um, there's a standby uh, feature on this and that light turns orange when it's in standby mode. So now that we have the green light, uh, let's give this a taste and see uh, what it's like. That's a really good draw. It's nice. It's got good pull on it and um, it's surprisingly it's not so hot to the touch. So that's, that tastes really good. Actually, it's got really good flavor. So to take a second draw, you have to make sure you keep an eye on the indicator light because you have a 15 second time frame and then the unit goes into standby mode. So to restart it, you simply push the top button down again and then you'll see that flashing red light and then you just go through the process again where you wait for the green light to start. Apparently, you can also check the battery status by pressing the top cap three times and the LED light will turn either green, which means there's 80% charge in the battery, or orange for 50% charge, and red means you're below 50% um, of battery life left. That's a useful feature. So there you have it, uh, the Puffet Portable Vaporizer, a discreet, flavorful, easy to use portable vaporizer and a nice addition to the market. Some of the nice features on this is that it has this nice temperature control, there's the removable stir tool, uh, the gold-plated heating chamber, really fast heat up time, the automatic shut off, uh, a USB charge, great taste, and silent. Um, also the design as an asthma inhaler, very clever, makes it incredibly discreet. Some of the things that we weren't crazy about is that it does feel a bit plasticky, um, not as sturdy, say, as the Solo. You can't sit it down to fill it, it's a bit wobbly, so you always have to kind of lay it down on its side. But other than that, it's a well-crafted, sturdy, nice flavor, definitely something we didn't expect, a nice surprise at an affordable price. And for those of you that aren't attached to the big clouds of vapor, the Puffet gets the job done and gets it done quickly. So we give it a two thumbs up. And that's it for today. Remember, be wise, vaporize, and for more information, check out vaporizerblog.com.